Hi guys, it's Michaela, and I actually straightened my hair using my new Foxy Bay hair straightener. So I straightened it yesterday, so it's not like the best, but it's still a really good straightener, and it like straightens really good. Just a review. But today I'm going to be doing an Ice Queen inspired makeup look, and I have my hair back, and I have my mirror ready, and I'm so excited for today's video because I'm using glitter and have all my makeup on the floor, but you can't see because it's like a view. But I saw my robe in the background and my medals because it's fun but today we're going to be doing ice cream makeup um like ice cream inspired makeup winter makeup it's pretty dramatic with the glitter I'm using nyx glitter today and ice nice drugstore brand but um i'm really excited for this video because yeah so let's just get started so my face is pretty dry right now and when i think of first part 27 i'm sorry my phone is like charging so i think of cold so i think dry skin so hydrating primer this is the elf hydrating primer i'm not the biggest fan of this primer i mean it does hydrate really nicely but it does smell a lot like olive oil and feels really greasy at first on your hands but on your skin it actually hydrates and feels really nice so i mean it's not a bad primer um but it does feel really nice. It's just greasy like on your hand, so you gotta wipe it off. But we're gonna start with the eyes because we do have some uh, glitter today. So, oh, I'm going to start by just taking um, a foundation, my concealer and just applying this onto my lids. Just as like our first base because we're gonna use um, a different base for our primer. So now I'm going to take the Cover Girl, wrong thing, Cover Girl um, palette in Shimmering Sands. This is a very frosty eyeshadow palette. I feel like Cover Girl does have some more frosty pal er, products, which is perfect for this look. We're just going to use the right one. Here. So we're going to start by setting the lid. I'm just going to use the little eyeshadow brush that it comes with because I feel like it's just fine for applying our base shadow. And I do really like this face shadow, my fingers. So this is just going to set the lids and also apply a little frostiness to the palette. And this palette is from the drugstore. I'm using mostly drugstore products today. Except like. And then we're just gonna use this palette today. I got my crease brush from IBY Beauty. So I'm using today, I'm gonna start with the middle shade as like a transition shade. Um, This is like a base shade. So, yeah, we're just going to keep it really simple for the eye look because we got to go dramatic with the glitter. And then I'm going to take the last shade and also I'll apply this in the crease, but focusing it more on the outer part of the crease for more definition. And you really just think it's like simple. But you don't also you also don't have to use this palette. I know it's inexpensive, but if you don't want to buy it, that is perfectly fine. You can just use any neutral brown. I just like this palette because it is pretty frosty. So now it's time for the glitter, and I'm not the best at the glittering, but okay. So I'm gonna start with the Alton Nude Matte Eyeshadow Primer, and it just like farted out. No, no, suck it back in. Okay. And I'm gonna apply this onto the lid. And I have my mirror up here because, you know. You can also use a glitter glue primer if you have that. I like the NYX glitter glue primer, or like the Too Faced Shadow Insurance glitter glue. But I'm just gonna use a regular eyeshadow primer. And now I'm going to take nyx glitter and ice now you do you can use any brand glitter but make sure it is cosmetic glitter so eyeshadow pigments or like if there's like any glitter you want to use i have an eyeshadow brush i'm going to dip it in and just apply it onto the lid now i do recommend any look with glitter doing your eyeshadow or whatever has the glitter first because you don't want glitter to get 
all over your foundation and like done faith so yeah it's a really subtle glitter which i like i don't know how well you can see it but it is definitely there and it's definitely really gorgeous you can also use like a mac fix plus type product to help set it i do really like it um how it looks i'm just going to fix up the crease and do the other eye and i'll be right back so this is the finished eyeshadow i know it's kind of a weird angle but now i'm going to take my precisely my brow pencil from benefit just to fill in my eyebrows because we just want them to look naturally beautiful like how an ice queen is naturally beautiful so i'm also going to take the so I just did a little bit like that like I think it's really good and also you can take the um oh primer and use that to slightly set your brows back so so now we're gonna move on to the face makeup because our primer is like set I guess so I'm gonna use two primers because when I think of an ice queen, I think of pale. I am pretty pale. I meant foundation. Um, so I'm gonna take the e.l.f. all over cover stick in the shade Ivory. And if you are like darker or tanner, um, you can definitely stay your shade or you can apply like a lighter thing. And I'm going to blend this out in this, um, Primer works really well with the foundation because it blends it out really easily. This um, is a really light coverage foundation, but I'm just using it to create an even skin tone that is also light on the skin. And I'm taking my All May Smart Shade Mousse Makeup Foundation in light pale. So basically, it's this like moussey kind of foundation that you blend onto your skin and it will blend into your skin tone um this is pretty old but yeah so the reason i'm using this is for extra coverage and just for extra color because you know light coverage but like it's also the color because it's a bit paler at first but then i like blends in so yeah i like it and it's quite easy to blend again and yeah and i'm also gonna use my hand i don't know if it's just on camera because it doesn't look that white in person like it doesn't look like i'm a ghost in person so yeah i don't know if i like applied way too much or something but i don't know i'm just gonna use my hands to kind of blend it out because it's like really white on camera so i don't know if you guys kind of look like i look gray or not but that's not what it really looks like in real life so and now we're going to conceal i'm just going to use the alta uh the color corrector liquid concealer in pink just to brighten up my under eye because we want to be all one color and then you can also cover up your pimples or stuff like these people on my forehead and you can conceal or highlight or do whatever i'm just doing a simple concealer routine and i have this thing i don't know where it's from but it's like fuzzy and it's really good for blending out concealer under your eyes so that's what i use it for every day in the morning i like it for blending out products so yeah so now i look really oily white so of course we gotta set the face in i'm going to be using a powder that i could not find so i just have the maybelline master fix setting and perfecting loose powder i'll be right back before i do that and i'm using this powder because it is translucent white powder so it might cast on i guess i don't know why this brush is really oily but we gotta set so 
and I do like this powder. It is pretty fine, and I have like a slight mattifyingness. It's not like overly mattifying, but it does set really nicely. And okay, I used it for my dance pictures to like bake. And under professional lighting, it only gave a slightest amount of flashback. So like, if you're taking on a picture on your phone, I don't think it would be that bad because I used professional lighting. And there was only like a tad bit like you couldn't barely even tell like i could tell but like i don't think anyone else could tell but yeah this powder is really nice and fine i don't think it is but it could probably be a it could be like a really close dupe for the new patrick star powder from mac but yeah, this is what it looks like if you were wondering i don't know if i said what it's called so my face is all set and blended we are going to move on to the face makeup. Good job. This whole video is over for real. And our eyeshadow is staying a glitter. I let, you can like intensify the glitter, of course, if you wanted to, by all means. Um, I just didn't because I didn't want an intense glitter. I want like a natural. So we're going to start off with the bronzer. So I think not too bronze when i think of ice queen so i'm using the elf sunkissed glow bronzer just for a nice glow now you want to be very careful your face is completely set when you use this because it is a shimmery powder like that so if you have darker skin tones you can probably even use it as a highlighter but for me it is a bronzer and i'm just going to use it on my forehead like in the hairline i feel like a lot of people do that and i actually just got into doing it and i really like it I'm also going to just go like along the sides of my face. We'll just add some bit of warmth. And then also just like down look. You just kind of like brown your face. And then I know most people don't do this. But I like to use bronze in my nose instead of contour. Just so like it gets warmth. And I personally can't contour my nose that well. Because I bumped it at the side of the swimming pool. And one side is like bigger. So it's a lot of contour. Now I have the Tarte Hotel Eris Bronzer, or Hotel Eris, whatever you want to call it. Eris. I call it Eris. But it looks like this. This is a little simple. I'm going to take my same crown brush. And here is a kind of hack, I guess. So you just want to use a really harshish. There's no product. A harshish line. This is how I contour. You can probably like hand whatever you want but i just think it's like a fun way this one wasn't as good and then you take a beauty blender that is a kind of cheap beauty blender so like a kind of soft kind of hard this one is from dollar tree and it's like perfect for that so first you start by blending it and you just blend it in and it like works really well I like to do, like, one scrape if it's, like, really, really pigmented, but usually I just blend it in, and you can also take the tip and go back in with it, but I do like this for kind of contour bronzing. I'm also going to dab some onto the forehead, like, in the center with the beauty blender. Again, from Dollar Tree, it works well for that hack. Blending out foundation and stuff. Mm. Now we have a blushy. So again, CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones in something plum. I used this in one of my videos and I just stacked it with my finger. I'm going to be mixing these two. That's not a blush brush on the cheeks today. For a frosty, yeah, beautiful cheek glow. I think it goes really well with this look and i feel like the purple kind of shade looks really pretty yeah so they've got our blush on and then i'm going to take the lightest shade put a little bit on the center of my apples and then i'm going to take it in and start a little highlighter with it it's like not really a highlighter but i do it and then we take the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Tyler in Peach Lights because I feel like this is perfect for this look. And we're just going to 
highlighter for the cheekbones and I really 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 love this highlighter if you didn't know I talk about it a lot and I use it a lot like outside of videos like if I do a daily highlighter it's usually this highlighter because honestly it's a really nice one and then I like to highlight in the same place we kind of contour like just like right next to it though for a like glow I like to just like on the kind of bridge of the um eyebrows but I really like highlighting and you can use any highlighter you want I feel like peach or like a really icy toned one would be good I don't have like a really icy toned one but I feel like this peach one is doing oh my god guys look at that <gasps> gotta apply a little and like you can really see it when the light hits it up here so, okay so now we're gonna finish off the eyes I'm going to take a nude eyeliner from Rimmel and I'm gonna have it in the waterline just to look more aware and more icy really pretty and then I'm going to take a indigo eyeliner from me um not me but um Ulta this is their gel eyeliner in indigo and then I'll put this on the lower lash line like blend it out on the lower lash line you can also use a blue eyeshadow and you can use any brand blue eyeliner this is all i really have and i really like the effect it gives i like using indigo but you can also use like light blue or anything like that or teal i feel like indigo looks really pretty because it's like blue purple and I feel like purple kind of reminds me of iciness too I don't know I can apply it as much as you want this one is an okay eyeliner it's not the best but it's still actually really good kind of confusing and now mascara I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel just cause I want like a natural but still really nice mascara but you can use an all-out mascara, of course. I don't know why, but I thought this one would be a really good one for us look. And I'm just going to apply it a little bit. Because we still want the glitter. Uh -huh. Now for lips. I'm going to start talking about the lips. You can use any lip color you want. I feel like a berry purple would look really pretty but if you're like me you can use nude too so i'm going to be taking a a sample of the yacht why sell i would say yacht st laurent brown in the shade 70 this is from the sephora sampler so it's a really big one and it's a really pretty nude lipstick but i feel like a, a purple would also be really fun and now we're gonna spruce it up a little bit. I'm going to take the Ultra Radiant Lip Gloss in Lavender Lightning. This, and I feel like most holographic iridescent. I can't, I can't do that. Uh, products don't like really have the iridescence like they say. Um, I'm not gonna say holographic because everyone's like, oh, they're not holographic. And uh, now, and this one has a little shift of purple to it, but not really. So yeah. And then I'm gonna take the glitter. Again, NYX glitter, cosmetic glitter. You have to do this with cosmetic glitter. Or, I think even edible glitter would be okay because it's, like, safe. But I don't think it would work as good. No, I don't think the glitter part is practical for, like, every day. Because, like, this look could be an everyday look. If you want to go for a little mold. Like, even with the glitter on the lids, really naturally. Or this one is not really practical. One, because it is pretty gritty the feeling this is like more for like fun but also it's like not really natural and oh my god it sticks really good to the lip gloss so i'm going to you can see there it looks really great so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this ice queen inspired makeup i really like how it turned out i'm really proud of myself for coming up with that like ice cream kind of look i hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> she subscribed for a really fun 
two fun videos coming up that have to do with my makeup Christmas presents. Also, like, the Jacqueline Hill X Morphe palette. Oh my god, I'm gonna do a video with that and my ear, like, felt really bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed straight hair, Michaela, because she will be gone soon. Sadly. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! Oh, I covered the camera. I'm really bad at filming today. But bye!